Okay, I meant to tell you guys, I got a job. Hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about a little of life updates. As you, you know, missing in the intro title, um, you know, I got a new job and I wanna talk about that. And some other things that I have going on in my life as well. And when I, you know, keep you guys updated on things. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna get into, I got a new position, new job. So now I am a Salesforce solution architect. So one of the dream roles I was looking for, especially in the last year. And that's main reasons why I left my previous job in order to get that role and that title that I wanted to do. Cause I felt like I've been doing that for the most part for the last couple of years and doing Salesforce. I thought I should, you know, is, I think it's just befitting to you know, in order to get that title and get exactly what I was doing all along. So, you know, moving myself up, moving myself up in the rank and promoting myself is so, you know, central to me. So that's why I think I always, you know, continue to push to other people and to be advocates of their own career because more than likely other people won't be advocates for you. So you gotta, you know, push yourself and push yourself in these positions so you can feel uncomfortable because other people might not feel comfortable in putting you in that position and you can get exactly what you need to get done and, you know, move forward. Because I think all my life, since I was like younger, I think putting myself in these tough situations allowed me to grow, even if it wasn't like something that I got right away automatically. It's just like I got to the point where I can grow to that point where I need to be. So I think this is a really good befitting, you know, role for me and I'm gonna be holding this role for a very long time. Really proud of the company and everything that I'm working for. So the other thing I wanna do too as well, so I'm saving more and investing more. You guys already know what kind of global economy that we in right now, so I don't need to save furthermore, but you know, need to save more. Save more so I can invest more and you know, putting myself in a situation where I can deploy this capital at the right time and right moment and it kind of goes into the next segment what I've been doing in my life as well learning new skills the thing I've been doing lately and I think it's really befitting I kind of already mentioned in previous videos is that I've been doing a lot of studying on real estate and real estate investment I think it's just a great use of you know use my salary as a tech person and everything it's like yeah I might as well use this extra cash in order to uh, deploy to things that is going to make me money and also set me up for more financial freedom and all these other things. I think real estate is one of the most important parts of any kind of portfolio. That's why I'm like diversifying. So most of the time I put my stuff in index funds and I actually, you know, invest into individual stocks because I've been doing that uh, reading analysis and financial statements, balance sheets and all that stuff since I was a little kid. So I got really familiar with it. But one of the things that I have been reading recently is this book right here. And I think it's a really great, 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 great book. And I love the part so far at the very beginning that's, you know, relating personal finance statements and save rate to balance sheets and income statements. So I really like that fact. So one of the things I was like, you know, I was doing this whole entire exercise and I realized, you know, finding out my net worth currently because I never did my calculation of my net worth and just to see what kind of like, um, what is my saving rate. I felt like I already knew my saving rate for the most part and I realized that it's roughly around like 50% and I kind of like stick to that because like I remember I was going back in Florida and Orlando and all these other things. Like I want to keep that kid same type of lifestyle that I was going with that particular salary and you know, as I you know continue to double my salary and continue to increase my salary and get these new roles take on these new challenges and stuff and get paid for it more for the most part saving rate is really great and I like the fact that they you know do these little exercises and I really like the book because it kind of goes into answering questions why you should do certain things in real estate doing the numbers but what do these actually numbers mean and why you should be doing these numbers and these measurements and metrics? I wouldn't say I could fully recommend it yet, but so far I'm really enjoying the book so far and really loving it. And that's why I think it's really important right now to get you know very familiarized with all of that type of stuff and doing the calculations and stuff because you know when the time does come and I do find a really great deal and I know why I'm finding the great deals and what kind of things and investable assets I can you know deploy to these um, deals that I need to make happen so you know set things up and then you know look at the overall portfolio of my real estate investment and ensuring that this is something that's going to continue to work and continue to be 
something that's gonna be profitable and worthwhile over the long run. So yeah, I got that. And you guys already know the next skill I've been going over is woodwork. I think that's this really great skill, even as a software engineer. I think it's a really great skill. It's really therapeutic to me, to be honest. Being able to build things with my hands is something that you know, it's just it's just natural to me. So I like building things with software, but I also like building things in the physical world that will, you know, look and you can film and all these other things. As you know, I built a little shelf, garage shelf in my garage. And there's other things that I plan on building as well, such as a bump bed for my kids. Also some cabinetry and a workbench and stuff that I want to put in the garage for some work work that more work work stuff that I want to do. And yeah, this is a new skill that, you know, I'm just picking up. I've been doing it for the last two years, but every single year I've just been progressing and getting better and better and better, making things more aesthetic to the eyes and everything. I'm gonna be showing some of those woodwork projects on my channel, and yeah, I think that's, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, and the other thing, the last thing I've been doing as well is working out. You would think I've been working out and all this stuff. I have been running, you know, I've been doing some great running. But one of the things I haven't been doing is like strength exercising. I think one of the things that's really great, especially for, you know, anyone who's sitting at a desk in general is doing some strength exercising for your lower back and for your legs and all these other things so they can stay in line. Yeah, because one of the things, you know, that happens is you get you get some looseness around here, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that. You don't want to you want to keep it tight, nice and tight. And it's mainly for, you know, skeletal and posture reasons. So for the most part, I'm pretty good on that aspect, but you know, um, I want to do some more stripping exercise in the lower back area and you know make that muscle more stronger. And other muscles, you know what I'm saying? Hit it. You know what I'm talking about? Hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> I'm getting bulk out here, you know what I'm saying? Getting bulk out here. Not too bulk, but, you know, something that... I'm going to be like a rock climber bulk. Uh, that's the best way to explain it. Rock climber bulk is what I'm aiming for. Boom. Something that I feel like get the strength, but also get the muscle tone at the same time. All right, but that's essentially it. That is the end of this update. Hope I'll see you guys soon. I have some new content coming up. Hopefully, I can get it approved and everything. But... Hopefully I get approved pretty soon and yeah, I can show you guys pretty soon what that content is. Hope you see this. Hope you, you look at it. Hope you like it and let's, let's get it out there to the people. Other than that, you know, I'll see you later. Peace.